on from our video showing you how to install the Dynaudio LCRs. Wanted to show you today how to install um, the Dynaudio RCC subwoofer. What we've got here is uh, a retrofit, which we're going to do. So, plasterboard walls up, you've already got an existing system, so this may be an upgrade. Um, one thing to note with the RCC though is you can install this between the joists prior to plasterboard going up. Um, so if you do want a truly discreet install, you can do that and then you end up using this grill here. So it gives you a really nice finish. Um, but let's get back to the, the retrofit. So within the box, um, you're gonna have a template, uh, which you are going to place on the wall. We've already determined the best place for our sub. Um, draw around your template and cut that out. Um, you can see that we've also already run our speaker cable. The speaker cable goes back to your rack where the RCC has a 1UI rack mountable amplifier from audio control. Um, that amplifier can run two of these subs should you need those in your room. Um, so what we will do now is uh, we are going to connect the sub and lift the sub in. There we go. Once you've got the sub uh, firmly positioned in the wall and you're happy with that, check your levels, get your screwdriver. There we go, first one done. And repeat the same process on the next three. Once we've secured all four dog legs, the sub's nice and tight, get a really nice finish on those. Um, you do have the option of screwing into the stub behind the wall as well through these three um, holes on each side of the sub. Um, really then, just about fitting the magnetic grill. Um, these are paintable, so it can be finished as well in the same color as a wall if you want. But a very, very simple snap on. Here we are at the rack um, to show you the RS500 subwoofer amplifier from Audio Control. As I mentioned earlier, that's one U high. Um, the RS500 will run two subwoofers with uh, the same settings spread across both. If you want to, you can run the RS1000, which will give uh, independent uh, settings for the two subs. So just a bit more of a performance upgrade for you there. Also, we've then teamed this with the Audio Control Concert XR8 AVR, uh, and that is running our Dyn Audio home cinema system here at CAVD. Let's go ahead and open the web browser. So we're using Safari, so open that up. The default IP address you need is 192.168.0.249. Now we have changed ours because it's on our network here. Once you uh, open the web browser, you can see you've got all the controls here. You're going to need to set the sub up. Um, we've got volume control over here. We've got uh, delays. We can change the phase. Uh, we do have an EQ, crossover settings, and the highlighted speaker icon here is just telling us that um, the amplifier is already preloaded um, with all the configuration settings for the RCC sub. So when you buy the RS500 with the subwoofer together, that's already preloaded on there for you. You can change this if you want to under the settings. Should Dyne bring out another in-wall sub or there's an upgrade available, you'd be able to upload those parameters and also load those onto the, the amplifier as well. Um, the crossover itself really is, is, is a low pass filter, so you can uh, go ahead in there and change that and play around, see how that works within the room. We've got the EQ feature as well. Now, um, we're using the acoustic setting here. This is something we've just found has worked uh, particularly well. This is just another layer of, of uh, settings over and above the preloaded uh, information you've got. You can go in and change these should you want to and, and, and have a play around, really work out what's best. You can change that to flat. We can go in here and, and alter those. Um, 
to settings that suit the room best for you. So let's just remember to save those. Um, you can also within here set the power options. So if you want to use a 12 volt trigger or IP to turn on the uh, the amplifier once your your OVR wakes up, um, we do have um, a little drop box, uh, drop down menu here with whole node of other settings which we will do in another video when we go into a little bit more detailed information about setting the subwoofer up in the room. Thanks.